I'm John and this is Fun with Phil Mori. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. One of my subscribers, Pakistan Real Estates, and thank you for subscribing, has asked me if I can do a follow on tutorial for my colour grading video and there'll be a link to that at the end of this tutorial on what is and how to use HSL. So what does HSL stand for? It stands for hue, saturation and luminance. Every colour has a value of hue, saturation and luminance. Here's an example of hue. The sky is blue and the sea is blue, but are they the same colour? No, they have different blue hue values. Here's an example of saturation. A vivid red could be 100% full saturation, but when you decrease the saturation, it will eventually change to grey, no saturation. And luminance just refers to the brightness of the colour. Let's see these in action. Right, I'm just going to choose a nice colourful piece of stock media. That one's got plenty of colours in, so that'll be good to use. Once we have our footage on the timeline, we go to colour and then the HSL tab. If it's not activated, simply click on there and you can see straight away we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, lilac or the other way around and pink. We can change or manipulate the hue, saturation and luminance of each one of these colours which gives you a lot of options to choose from. I have absolutely no idea how many but there's quite a few believe me. Also we can do keyframes on each one of these. I'll show you them as we go along. But well, first of all, let's just click on red. This week's pin number for the monthly giveaway is number two. And now you can see if we change the hue of the red color, have a look at the red in this image here, or this video, should I say. If we change the hue down, we can see it changes to a, like a, a, like a very light sort of red and then right up the other scale, it goes warmer. The saturation, let's just put that back to default. Saturation takes the red out completely, as we said, and goes to like a grey colour, if you remember. And then right the way up to a vivid red. And luminance just makes it brighter. Darker red, lighter red. But we can change them, obviously, individually, or we can change them all together. So let's change the hue, do that. Let's take the saturation right up, so we get a nice colour red there. And we'll also take the luminance up slightly. Now, look at that colour. That red really pops now. So let's just reset them. Let's do the same with orange. And again, we've got the orange colour in there, which is by the red, unfortunately. Pity it wasn't separated more, but keep your eye on the orange. Again, we'll just change the hue of the orange. You can see a change in there. And anything that's close to the orange colour will also change as well. Saturation does the same and luminance take it darker or brighter so let's take them right up and you can see it's gone a brighter orange now let's all reset all them yellow is exactly the same nice bright and let's put all the saturation everything up the very top you get a real vivid bright yellow I quite like that actually <laughs> typical uh, green let's change the greens um, let's do the same with the green, see if it stands out. No, the green's not quite as good, it doesn't stand out next to the yellow. So we drop them down to like a darker green maybe. Yeah, darker green, you can see the darker green band around the edge there more than you can behind. Because it's next to the yellow. Blues, let's have a play around with that. Yeah, nice blue. Quite happy with that colour blue. Yep, leave that. Lilac. Scouse accent there, lilac. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll change that to a deeper colour, maybe. And just brighten it up. Okay. Purple. I think that's purple. There's no purple in here, so I don't think anything's changing. No, well, that's a good point. If there's no colour in the image, it won't change. It doesn't affect it. So let's just drag them right to the top. Haven't seen any colour changes there, so that's a good point. And let's see if there's any pinks. Right, it, it thinks that this colour 
is like a purpley pink again which it is so it's changing that color again okay so let's just have a play see what that looks like see how vivid the colors are now but it is a case of playing around with each and every one of them to be honest so look at that now and then what i'll do is i'll reset all of them in fact what i'll do no i won't reset them all i'll drag another copy of the video down lay it on top that's the original and that's the one we've just changed all the hue saturation and luminance on see a big difference the colors really pop i actually prefer the second one the one i've just done thank you <laughs> but no you can see a big difference and you can see how it can enhance all the colors in your images and i'm glad i chose this one because it's got loads and loads of different colors in okay let's delete that we don't need that now I'll drag the footage back down again because what we're going to do now is we're going to play around with the keyframes so red let's just drop the saturation right down on the red to begin with and add a keyframe we'll move in to there in fact I'll just move in to about there yeah that'll do I'll add a keyframe and take the saturation right the way up I'll do the same with the blue. So let me go back to the beginning again. Got a keyframe. In fact, what I will do is I'll go through all the colors first, adding a keyframe on each one. So take the saturation up on that one. Go to green, add a keyframe, saturation. And we'll just do it on the blue. And maybe that one as well okay so we've changed all the saturation and all the colors let's go in to our second point about there we've got all the vivid colors there now let's just see how that plays goes from really drab goes to really bright so that's how you use keyframes if you want to reset them all you have to make sure you go on each individual color that you put a keyframe on and press reset there we go that if you just do it on one the others will stay the same so make sure you click on the color and reset all the keyframes back to default so that was a nice quick tutorial i hope it's helped it can give you a lot of options when you're changing your colors as well as obviously all the, the curves and the new color wheels but you can do quite a lot just within hsl so long as those colors are in your images thanks very much pakistan real estate for the question it was a good question hope it's made a good tutorial thanks for watching now go have some fun did you hear me mention this week's pin number you'll need that to enter the 50 pound giveaway at the end of the month <laughs>